Where is he? Where is he? But I'm back, bitches. Chief Tommy Long Dick and the Mohicans, a twisted storage auction tale coming to a screen near you. Hey, this is Glenda with Making Money with Storage Unit Auctions. The title of this segment, Chief Tommy Long Dick and the Mohicans. This is one of those crazy units I bought a long time ago. But it was it, it's, it's a funny unit because it's a really good unit, but the better part of the unit is the story that's inside of it because I actually took the time to write this up and this is just a brief synopsis of what you'll find on the blog and just you know hitting the highlights because that's another thing there's so many people who love urban pack rat I decided to keep it I was just gonna do away with it and just move everything to storageauctionguru.com so that plan has changed what I'm gonna do going forward is all of these stories and funny stuff is going to go on urbanpackrat.com and more of the training type, business type, what's going on with storage auctions will be on storageauctionguru.com and keep it easy and breezy. Alright, got this unit and it was at a place that was notorious for canceling. I mean, a lot of times I would not even go, but for some reason this morning I woke up and I just decided to go got there and it was running late oh, excuse me it was one of those really really the week before was really 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 rough I had bought a lot of units I was sore as hell I didn't really need anything but it was a great opportunity because I confirmed that they were having an auction and they actually had all the rooms so I get there just like in the nick of time the female storage manager or district manager she was kind of a hard ass, but I thought she was cool and she was very sexy. Trust me on that. She was very sexy. Haven't seen her in years. Don't know how it's held up, but back then, Lord, saw her in the grocery store in some shorts. I was like, damn. But, you know, she turned off a lot of people and people thought she was a lesbian, but I just thought she was really intense. So I get there and she just kind of like looks at me like, you just barely made I'm like, I know. I mean, I ran in there so quick that my car was outside running, but there wasn't really that many people there. So we get to the unit. It's the first unit. And the door goes up and I'm like, holy moly. It's full from the ruler to the tutor. Just packed. And for some reason, I think I'm going to get this cheap. I really do. And I start bidding because there's no one there. And then this guy who I've never seen bid more than $200, all of a sudden he wants to run. And I'm just like, whatever, dude. You know, I got a lot of my friends, you know, George Washington, I got Grant, I got a lot of my friends with me. So I go, let's run. And we go and bam, I we get up to five, then he hits it for 750. I hit it at 800, he phew, to a thousand. But at the end of the day, at 1525, I got this unit. But it was huge. So I wasn't gonna worry about it. And for more details on that stuff, that's gonna be at urbanpackrat.com. I'm going to get to the good shit, the good shit, because this is what you want. You want the good shit. The guy was, he had his own company. He was the quintessential everyday family man by day. But by night, he was cheap tummy long dick. <laughs> I, I'm going to give brother, I'm going to do this props. I'm going to do this props. It was, the name was appropriate. This fool was making all kind of porn movies for his personal enjoyment. And when you look at the family picture, you see the wife and you'll see the three kids. And it is clear, those are his kids. There's no mistake. They all look just like him. You know, Little Chief Tommy Longdicks. And I'm just looking at that and I'm comparing and contrasting. And dude spent some money to get these movies made because based on the panning of the camera and the angles, there was someone behind that camera. This wasn't the typical tripod and all you see is an ass going up and down. No, 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 no. I mean, you saw close-ups, ass shots, coochie shots, and there was just Chief, Tommy Longdick, and Asian women. There were no white women, no black women, no poor, just Asian women. And there were several. Because going back to the unit, when I went back with my guys to clean it out, well, my guy, who looked at me like I was crazy as hell, 
because he's like, what did I get myself into? You know, I picked up one of my Hispanic brothers. In the unit, which, uh, what actually made me buy the unit, I saw these feathers that were kind of sticking up behind the box, and it made me think it was an Indian headdress. It's like, hey, if it is, I could sell that. I could sell that for a lot of money because even if it's fake, they were like, you know, back in the day, 150, 200 bucks for, you know, a good quality. Not the stuff you get at Party City. No disrespect to Party City. But get in there and he's got the whole getup. The Indian headdress, and I'm talking about it's a war bonnet. It's not just like up here. It's like all the way, you know, touching the ground. And he has the Indian leather tunic, the pants, the moccasins, a bow, several arrows, and a quiver. I mean, he had the full look, and there was a poster of him in that getup with Chief Tommy Longdick, that's what he called himself, and the Mohicans. Four girls draped, you know, two on each side and in various states undressed, and they were fine. I'm not going to lie, they were fine. But this dude was making these movies, and he had a very nice, a very conservative type business. He was very, very conservative. He had an insurance agency, and there was tax records in there and all kinds of stuff. Dude made a lot of money. I mean, damn near seven figures a year. Which means, you know, keep the wife at home, take care of the kids, and have Chief Tommy Longdick video media company. <laughs> because there was all kinds of stuff. I mean, the videos were professionally made. It was not amateur hour. And I think he had this just made for his personal enjoyment. Because I found all kinds of pictures of the family, on vacation, they went everywhere. So he was there for his family, and when he went with his family, he was Chief Tommy Long Dick making these movies. I mean, he was dicking these girls down. I mean, seriously. There was just one scene that girl looked like she wanted to cry. I was just like, that is just wrong. When you got some heavy equipment, you gotta kinda ease that up into the honeys, you know? Then there are some that like pain. But I don't know the whole situation. All I know is that look on her face. It's that look you go, you get when you're at the dentist, and that dentist is hitting that drill in that right spot, and you're just like, oh. But that's what he was doing. It is just crazy. And this is some of the stuff that you come across when you buy storage units. One of the reasons that I got more juice and more stuff was I had an, a system, I had the organization, and I also was very, very inquisitive. You know, stuff that other people would throw away. I would take the time to read. Sometimes it would be in the warehouse for a month or two, but I would go through it and I'd read the letters and stuff. And that's where you're getting all these accounts of stuff I bought because I got an email the other day and the guy was like, man, you got to be finished with the stories. I'm like, dude, I can do another two years of this. This stuff I haven't even talked about. People are a trip. Human nature is truly stranger than fiction. But, you know, that's a little something, something for you because, you know, been out of commission and everybody's like, ah, where is he, where is he, where is he? But I'm back, bitches. <laughs> Alright, this is Glendon with Making Money with Storage Unit Auctions.